Hello everyone, it's Leo, and in this video we are going to talk about the director from Tropical Rouge Precure, Yukata Tsuchida. We know that Yukata Tsuchida is directing Tropical Rouge Precure. I already did a video here on the channel talking about some of the staff that is working on the season. And in this video, I said some of the stuff he already did inside the Precure franchise. But today we're taking a better look at what he already did. And this might give us hints on how Tropical Rouge is going to be. The first thing that we need to take a look at is this tweet that was done by Yukiko Nakatani in December 26, the day that the website updated with the official reveal of the images and also the production team for Tropical Rouge Precure. Yukiko is the character designer for Tropical Rouge. She already worked on Precure before. She did Go Princess Precure. And in her Twitter account, she did a very interesting tweet, this one here on the screen, in which she said that one of her objectives was to make whatever possible to represent the chaos that exists inside director Tsuchida. So in this tweet, she was basically explaining her thought process of the character design that she did for Tropical Rouge. So I believe this can be a first glimpse at what's to come for us in this season. Now let's take a look at some past works Tsuchida did as a Precure director. So we're going to start with Smile Precure. Uh, I'm not. I'm obviously not going to mention all of the episodes he directed here, but I'm going. I chose some of them that can be very representative of what I believe can be very representative of his works as a director. So in Smile, one of the episodes he directed was episode 13. He directed and storyboarded this episode, which was that episode that they go to Kyoto. So this episode uh, focuses on Miyuki having bad luck, and there are many, many exaggerated and funny scenes. There is this crazy tone over the whole episode, and I absolutely love it. And yes, it is from this specific episode that we have that crazy Miyuki face. Where is it? There, on uh, on the top. Because, girl, that is a very Mimi face for Miyuki, and it's it's very remarkable inside the Precure fandom. Now, talking about Mahotsukai, another season that he worked on, we have this episode that was really incredible. Tsuchida directed and storyboarded episode 29, which is the Mofuderella episode, the one in which Mofudun turns into Cinderella. And honestly, I don't even know how to describe this episode and the craziness it was. <laughs> we have past defeated villains returning as characters from the story. We have the curious playing other roles as well. We have the director as the prince. And honestly, I just don't know what to say. This is honestly one of the craziest Precure episodes ever. Like, this episode was insane, and I really loved it. I think that I, at least I did have a lot of fun with this episode. And again, one of the craziest episodes Precure ever had. Now let's go to a more recent season and talk about Startwinkle Precure. One of the episodes that Tsuchida directed and storyboarded in Startwinkle is episode 8 an episode that was focused on Elena, which featured her first dilemma. But it also had lots of crazy elements that this director seems to love very much. We had so many great and funny scenes in this episode with Hikaru. Girl, I can't even start to mention them. And we also had the Puruns gag at the end as well with furry Puruns. That was so incredible. I really loved this episode, but this episode already brings something different. Yes, it was crazy. Yes, it was out of this world, literally, because it was in space. Uh, but at the same time, it 
kept a same tone and it was an episode that was memorable because of Elena's development and uh, the way they dealt with Elena's character. This is one of the episodes I like the most. I think all of Elena episodes in Startwinkle are gorgeous. You guys know how much I love her. Kira Soleil is amazing and I think she was an amazing character. All of her episodes, they have a lot of feeling. And this episode was no different. It was able to be crazy. It was able to be to have lots of gags and lots of funny scenes, especially with Hikaru. Because girl, Hikaru is the meme in person. Like, she is a meme. And we also had a lot of development to Elena and her character, her dilemma. What would she do? And I feel like this episode was able to deal with feelings in a very very nice way. So we already see in this episode a different side of this director as well. Another thing that he did and he directed is the Kira Kira Precure movie. This is another very chaotic work. The Kira Kira Precure movie is utter chaos. But he can do other stuff too, as we saw in episode 8 from Start Winkle. Yes, most specifically, he knows how to get serious and very emotional. For example, he directed and storyboarded episode 45 from Sweet Precure. And episode 45 from Sweet is a very important episode. It was the last arc from Sweet. It was a very intense and a very sad episode as well, especially for Kira Muse, because like something big happened to someone close to her. And so it was a very important and serious episode without all the memes, without all the gags, without all the jokes. He can get serious when he needs to as well. And he can work very well with emotion. Also, he was the director for another Precure movie. This time, an all-stars movie. Uh, the movie was called... If I say this wrong, I'm so sorry. The movie was called Precure All-Stars Mina de Utao Kiseki no Maho. And it tells the story of Sorcier. I don't even know if I'm, I'm pronouncing her name correctly. But Sorcier had also an, an amazing, touching and emotional story. And he needed to convey that in this movie. And I think he did it very, very well. Her story was indeed very emotional. So this movie was... It also had lots of jokes. And it was a musical movie. It had a different tone than the other All-Stars movies. But it was still a lot of fun. But it was also an emotional work as well. So as we can see... I think we are in very good hands for Tropico Rouge. Yutaka Tsuchida, the director for Tropico Rouge Precure, seems to do a great job in the Precure franchise. Every time he comes in, he does an amazing job. And he seems to have this chaotic style. And I'm pretty sure his mind has lots of crazy ideas. And he won't hide those ideas from us this time around. Because this time he is the head director of a season for the first time. The works that he did in Precure were very focused on single episodes. And the two movies, the Kira Kira movie and the All-Stars Kiseki no Maho movie. He worked on both of them as a director, but now we are going to have a series that he is going to be the director. And honestly, this makes me even more excited for Tropical Rouge, knowing that this season will be in great, great hands. And maybe we're gonna have a tropical chaos in Tropical Rouge. I just know I am going to love it. I think we're on to something amazing and Tsuchida, our director, is going to do an amazing job in this season. I am pretty sure of it, at least based on his previous works in our beloved Precure franchise. Anyways, this is all for now. I'm day by day more and more excited for the next Precure season. And this just helps me get in more and more into the hype. 
So I just want to take this little time to thank all of the members of the Magical Cinnamon channel. If you are a member, thank you very, very, very much. I really appreciate it. I'm very happy that you believe in Magical Cinnamon. And if you've watched them until now, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.